Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and in today's video I'm going to be continuing with the Selenium Python tutorial series by showing you how you can interact with websites and do some pretty cool things. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, cool. So I have changed this, you know, in our previous video we had Selenium 1 and I've just put Selenium tutorial 1 and 2 just because in the last video it was going on a little bit longer than I expected, so we're just going to move it into a separate video. Okay, so what we have established is that we can open a website like Google, which is what we did in the previous video. We open Google and then we can wait a couple of seconds, five seconds, and then it will quit and it'll come off the screen like that. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is how you can start interacting with the elements on a page. So I'm just going to hashtag this driver.quit out and we're going to run it and just have you know Google on the page itself. So notice we you know we have to agree to this these terms and conditions and then we have this website here. Now for those of you that are unfamiliar with HTML, I'm, I'll give you a little bit of background now just to make things a little bit easier when we start interacting with elements. So essentially we have this website here and what you can do is say, you know, you want to understand what's going on with this element Google right here. You can right click and you can click inspect. And when you click inspect, you get this entire section here. And I'll just make the screen a little bit bigger. Okay, so we have this section here and this is all of the code behind how this website works. So there's a lot of different codes and notice how when I hover over certain aspects, it will highlight certain things. We can drop things down here and you know highlight over certain things. So each element on a page is created by HTML, you know, is created by certain HTML code that's given here. So let's say I want to find out where the search bar is. So I'll just click inspect. Sometimes you have to do it twice and notice how it's highlighted. And here it gives us all of the code that is used in this section here for this, for this specific element for this search bar. Now you may be looking at this and think this looks incredibly scary, a bit, I don't know what code's going on. Honestly, it's okay. We're gonna look for specific things in our HTML elements. So what we will do is we will say we want to look for this specific element here. When you look at a given element, there's a kind of system that we follow for things that we look for. And those specific things we will write in our code and that will allow us to interact with that specific element. So essentially the kind of level that it goes is ideally we want to look for something that has an ID in it. Now you'll notice here this doesn't have an ID, I don't think. The reason why we look for an ID first is because an ID is always unique. If we don't have an ID, we will look for something that is known as name. And this does have a name and it's right here. It says name is Q, which is great. We've got a name. And then if there is no name, we look for the class. So here we have this class and that's the specific class here. Now, the issue with something like a class is a class is not always unique. So a class can actually be used to find a whole group of you know elements. And essentially, if you write in this specific class, recall it, it will choose the first element that it, that it sees. So that's why when we look at websites and we when we do Selenium and kind of web scraping and things like that, we look for a website that has ID, you know, had a lot, has a lot of ID that we can use. So it has, you know, unique elements. So that's something that's, you know, worth bearing in mind. So let's say, OK, so let's say we want to interact with this specific element here. I've just opened up this section here, which is the Selenium kind of documentation. And essentially, in order to interact with the page, we can use any of these things. So here we have ID, name, XPath and CSS selector. So we have the name. We've been given the name of this specific element here, the search bar. We know it's Q. So what we can do is we can write this here, make our element equal driver dot find element by name and put Q in here. Now this may seem a little bit confusing, but I'll explain what's going on. So let's move back to our code and let's say, okay, so this was the stuff we did previously and I'll just put here, let's start interacting with websites. What we're going to say is let's say the element that we want to you know, interact with, which is this search bar here. So I'll, I'll, I can put element underscore search bar so we know what element it is we're looking for. We're then going to write what this says on here for the name. So we're going to say driver dot find element and notice a whole list comes up. So essentially you can find any element on a page with all of these different things here. We want name because we have we know our name for this section for this element. It's Q. So what we're going to put in here is Q. So what this will do is it will set the variable element search bar to be this specific element. So the driver is going to find this specific element 
and so far it's not going to do anything because we haven't asked it to what we can say is element search bar dot click and what that's going to do is it's going to click on that specific element so right here now something that's worth bearing in mind is if you remember when we opened google originally it came up with this you need to accept the terms and conditions so i'm just going to show you how we can do that so if i run this now what will happen is google will open but it won't be able to do the things i've asked because notice here we're having to agree to this so this is kind of blocking us from our google home page so don't worry we can actually click on this with selenium so we're going to just highlight so we're just going to click on right click on i agree which is what we want to you know click to get to our home page you're going to click inspect okay it hasn't done it i think it's just missed it so we just have to do it again right click and inspect the i agree section okay now notice and i'll just zoom in on this so you can see what's going on just move to the side a second notice i'll just move the i agree so we can see what's going on notice that we have two buttons we've got a button there for customize and we have a button here so it can seem a little bit confusing when you see all these divs and spans and all of this code but essentially if you hover over the section so we've got a button here hover over the section you want so our button is the i agree i agree button and notice we have an id perfect that is the first thing we look for when we want to you know interact with elements so we're just going to copy that in here and what we're going to do is notice we came up with a bit of an error and this is because the click that we wanted to perform on our search bar was interrupted because we had this on the screen our you know um our terms and conditions that we had to agree with so before we do this i'm going to say okay so let's start interacting with websites i'll say first we need to agree to the terms and conditions i think that's what they are anyway so and this bit here was just clicking the search bar so what we want to do is let's call it agree so this is our agree button we're gonna let driver find the element by the id which is what we you know specified we're gonna make a string and copy that specific id so notice it was this id here l2 a g l b and we put it into here perfect so now we will say agree dot click and that will hopefully click that specific button so i'm going to cross off this here i've got a few that are running down here so we'll just quit off these and now when i run this file hopefully it will acknowledge that we have this agree button okay amazing it's done it and it's just clicked and i realized why it was slightly slow i think it's because we still have the time dot sleep yes we do so we'll just hashtag that out and rerun that again okay it opens agree and click how fast is that it's incredible so you know i wasn't touching the screen then it did it instantaneously and notice it's clicked here and it's given us some trending searches so awesome we've interacted with certain elements on a page now you might be wondering how do i write something so let's say we've clicked on here and we want to write something out the way that we do that is by something known as send keys so i'll say you know we're clicking on the search bar oh just open the wrong thing let's say we want to write something in the search bar okay now we want to write something in the search bar now the way that we do that is we have this search bar we know that the element of this search bar is, is this here we have this we've defined it already so all you're going to say is element search bar which is our variable you're going to click you're going to put full stop um dot send underscore keys and then you're going to put what you want to write in here okay we're going to say hello so let's run this and hopefully it will open accept the terms and conditions and it writes hello how cool is that we've done it now you might be thinking well how do i press enter you know how does it press enter there are two ways you can do it you can simply put element dot search bar and then submit and we'll run this opens accepts clicks hello and submits it and there we go we have the home page for hello so we've got adele song up there perfect the other way that you can do it and this is going to be this is going to involve importing another 
module and this is going to involve importing something so you can do it so you can press enter one of two ways this submit essentially is kind of equivalent to writing something and then just thinking yeah you know we'll, we'll submit it so we have submit you can do it the first way which is this way or you can say element search bar dot send keys as we were writing then we'll do a capital keys so keys with a capital k and in capitals we'll put enter now notice we have this underscore here that's notice we have this squiggle under here that's red so it's wrong and that's just because we need to import something at the top of here and all we're going to import is from selenium dot web driver dot common dot keys import keys with a capital k so now if we run this will open it will accept it will click hello and it will press enter twice and it's opened up hello awesome so we can let's just hashtag out the submit just so i just so i can show you that this second method also works perfect it did it now there are two different ways that, that you can either do enter or return and i believe return does the exact same thing as well so if i just swap this for return but in capital it's not let me do a capital return we'll run this and hopefully it will do exactly the same thing as it's been doing previously it's going a little bit slower now my internet is uh, struggling slightly i'm hoping this won't come up with an error which is something that i'll explain in, in another video so we've, okay so the internet's going a little bit slow let's just we'll click run hopefully it will open there we go accept hello and i believe that has just pressed return awesome there we go so it's done it as well so return or enter work in this specific case now the final thing i'm going to show you is how you can actually print things so how you can web scrape off the website so i'll show you kind of an intro introduction to web scraping so what i'm going to do is let's say we have this web page but i want to print absolutely everything that comes off here you know the majority of, of the text and, and all these different things so what we do is we can kind of inspect it again so we'll inspect and that's just for this specific lyrics i'm going to click inspect okay so we know that this section here this this lyrics and hello it's me is all inside this class now if i keep scrolling up notice that if i scroll up far enough we have this section here okay so this section here is highlighting and if i just scroll down so we can see what it's highlighting it's highlighting i believe all of this section here okay so let's say i want to web scrape and i want to take all of that information off there in this highlight section notice we have an id again so we've got this call id so we've got this id he um so we've got this id here now what i'm going to do is we're going to just say let's let's call it text for our web scraping is going to be driver dot find element by id again we're going to make a string and copy the specific id so it's this id here and if i if you can't see that because the video the screen's a bit small i'll just make it a bit bigger for you there we go this is the id right here awesome okay so that's going to kind of take this entire chunk here of this first section now all i'm going to say is okay let's get python to print text dot text now that was a poor example for me i think i'll just change this text to let's say hello we'll call it hello text just because it, it makes things a little bit easier to decipher between the two okay so let's run this and it's going to open it it's going to accept the terms and conditions it's going to write hello the internet is being a little bit slow again so i may just stop this from running and, and we'll just rerun it again we'll rerun hopefully it'll do a little bit quicker this time okay so it's open accepted typed hello and now hopefully it will web scrape so let's go back on awesome look at this it's literally printed off this entire section here all of the stuff that we wanted so the lyrics hello it's me um source the available on spotify so that's all this section here available on spotify um you know songwriters awards there's a few 15 more send your love to me so all of this like so all of this here it's done it it is literally web scraped we've we've managed to copy all of that on there just by simple things in selenium how awesome is that 
I just think it's so so cool. So in this video I've shown you quite a lot of things, um, how you can kind of interact with different elements on a page, how you can web scrape, how you can also type on a page. I just think Selenium is one of the coolest modules in Python because you can do some pretty awesome automation with it. So that has been the video today, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did then please give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to support the channel even further then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos and also check out the donation link in the description of this video. But for now I will see you all in the next video.